2024 and especially this month of September we can see your great and mighty work in our midst we can see the awesome things you have done Lord we have come to give you praise we have come to give you thanks we have come in total surrender total surrenderedness to your will and purpose we have come to acknowledge you for all that you have done for us we ask that in this place that quality worship and praise we arise to your throne of grace even this morning in the name of Jesus and that Lord you will dwell in the midst of our praise we exalt you Lord Jesus in Jesus name we pray let somebody shout hallelujah come on put those hands together for Jesus it's such a wonderful privilege to come into God's presence and I want to appreciate God for the opportunity I, ha I have to stand before us to share the word of God and to spur us to worship and praise God. You know, um, every last Sunday like this is our custom to come and worship God, praise God, give thanks to him, show him gratitude, sing of his praise, you know, make a joyful noise, clap our hands, dance, and acknowledge that all that God has done for us. And that is why we are here today. All of these we do every month like that. We come together to worship God, to praise God. But as I was told that I'll be taking this session, I began to, you know, um, think in my mind, what are the things that happens when we come to praise God? When we come to worship God, when we come to give thanks unto him, when we come to acknowledge his faithfulness, what happens when we worship God? I tell you, something happens when we praise God. When we praise God, lifting our hands, giving thanks to him in recognition of his mercy, of his faithfulness, of his deliverance, of his provision, of the great things he has done for us. When we do that, something happens. 
I'd like you to open your Bible with me, the book of Psalm 21. Psalm 21. I read Psalm 21, verse 7. Yeah, no, Psalm 22. Psalm 22, verse 7. All right, now give me verse 3. Psalm 22, verse 3. Oh, thank you. But thou, O Lord, but thou art holy, O thou that inhabitest the praise of Israel. But thou art holy, O thou that inhabitest the praise of Israel. When we come to praise, when we come to worship, when we come to give thanks unto the Lord, God does not send an emissary to acknowledge our praise. He doesn't send his angels to acknowledge our praise. God comes down himself to acknowledge our praise. God comes down personally to dwell in our praise. The Bible says, but thou art holy, O thou that inhabitest the praise of Israel. So as we have come to praise, on a Sunday morning like this, when you take time to pray in your closet to worship God, Perhaps you are driving along the road and you are worshiping God. You are giving praise to him. God comes into that room. So the first thing that happens when we come to praise, when we come to worship, God comes into the room. God comes to inhabit, to dwell in our praise. We can see the demonstration of that in the book of Acts. Acts chapter 16, we know quite well. The story of Paul and Silas. You can give me media. You can help me project it in front of me. Act 16. Act 16, I read from verse 25. After having done the will of God, after having, you know, uh, obeyed God's injunction, Paul and Silas were caught and thrown into prison. You know, is it is enough reason not to praise God? Is enough reason to be discouraged? It's not a situation where people praise and give thanks. Many times we have reasons why we cannot give thanks. Because our needs are not met. Because we have an infirmity. Because we are going through a phase. But look at the uh, situation of Paul and Silas here. Act 16, verse 25. And at midnight, Paul and Silas prayed and sang praises unto God. And the prisoners heard them. And suddenly, there was a great earthquake. So that the foundations of the prisons were shaken. And immediately all the doors were opened. And everyone's bands were loosed. When they prayed and praised God. God had to come to dwell in their praise. God inhabited their praise. And if God had to come into that prison room. You know that there would be an earthquake automatically. God came into their situation. And there was a turnaround. So I don't know what situation you found yourself. I don't know what you are going through right now. If you can just muster some strength and give thanks to God in that prison situation. If you can just muster some strength and lift up your hands and open up your mouth and give praise to God. Exalt him, extol him, tell of his greatness not minding what is going on around you, not giving credence to what the devil is doing, I tell you, God will come into that room. That is exactly what happened when Paul and Silas, when they prayed and when they praised God. 
So when you praise God in that situation, in that sickness, in that lack, in that denier, in that period of loneliness, when you, 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 you look away from what the devil is doing, when you look away from you know, what is going on and you focus your gaze on God and you give thanks to him for who he is, for his past record, for, you know, the, 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 there's, there's a time, there was a time I was listening to the news uh, in Yoruba and the newscaster said, uh, Atima Shebo. So God has a good Atima Shebo that you can rely upon. He has a good track record. I like you to just, um, if you are here and God has ever delivered you before, let me see your hands. Okay, put it down. You are here, God has provided for you before, let me see your hands. Okay, you are here, you were sick and God has healed you before, let me see your hands. So, praise God. Now, why do we now refuse to praise him in that which we are going through right now? God has a, a reputable track record. He has done it before. And as a matter of fact, he's doing it right now in the life of some people. And he will do your own too. So forget about that problem. Forget about the, the pain. Forget about the issue. And come before him in acknowledgement. When you come before him, you know, in recognition of his awesomeness, of his might, of the great things that he has done before, and you worship and give thanks to him, you are, you are invoking God's presence upon that problem. You are inviting God into that problem when you give thanks unto him. Just like one of the testifiers said, said, praise waited for you, O God, in Zion. That issue has not been solved yet. But praise is waiting for God over him. So you give thanks to God in advance. You give thanks to God in anticipation. While you are in that problem, you don't wait until you get out of it before you thank God. You don't give a vow that, Lord, if you can just heal me now, I will praise you. Lord, if you can just provide for me, I will praise you. No, why don't you praise him now while you are sick? Why don't you praise him now while you are going through that lack? Why don't you praise him now while you, are, you, are, you, are, you, you, you seem haven't been forgotten? God is waiting for your praise even in that situation. Praise waited for thee, O God, in Zion. And that vow, you will perform it this morning. The Bible says, praise waited for thee, O God, in Zion, and unto thee shall the vow be performed. God is waiting for your praise over that ugly situation, over that wayward son, over that husband that has gone out of, of, of course. Praise is waiting. God is waiting for your praise over that issue. Amen. That's number one thing. When we praise God, God comes into the room. God steps in into that situation. When you jettison whatever feeling you are having, whatever is it that you are going through, and you take time to worship God over that matter, God steps in. Number two, God commands his blessings. When we praise God, he commands his blessing unto us. So when we are worshiping God, when we are praising God, know that we are not just in uh, wasting time. We are not just involved in some frivolous activity. No, what we are doing has eternal repercussion. It has a, 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 a spiritual implication. Psalm 67. Psalm 67, 3 to 7. So this morning, I want you to make up your mind. Make up your mind to just worship God. Make up your mind to give him everything. To worship him, to exalt him, to extol him. Psalm 67, 3 to 7. Psalm 67. Hallelujah. The Bible says, let the people praise thee, O God. Let the people praise thee. O let the nations be glad and sing for joy. For thou shalt judge the people right, righteously and govern the nation upon earth. Let the people praise thee, O God. Let the people praise thee. Then shall the earth yield our increase. And God 
even our own God shall bless us. God shall bless us and all the ends of the earth shall fear him. So when you take time to praise God, when you create time to worship him, to give him thanks, God commands his blessings on you. So I want to ask you this question. If you take a log of your time in a day, 24 hours, how much of that time do you use in giving thanks to God? How much of that time do you use in giving thanks to God, praising him, worshiping him, exalting him? Because that your praise will command the blessings of God. My time is running. That's number two. God commands his blessings on us when we praise him. Number three, God turns a bad situation around. When you praise him, God turns a bad situation around. He takes over the battle. When we praise God in the midst of our problems, God confuses our enemies. We are asked, they, they are actually waiting for you to cry. They are waiting for you to mourn. They, were, they are actually waiting for you to begin to come and complain to them. But you are, rather you are praising God. Rather you are worshiping him. Rather you are exalting God. Then your enemies are confused. When you worship God, it, it brings confusion into the camp of the enemy. When you worship and praise God, God turns that bad situation around. God takes over. We, have, we, we read that uh, in the book of Acts 16, 25 to 26. When Paul and Silas, you know, praised God in their, in, their, in their chains. And God turned that situation around. I'd like us to read 2 Chronicles 20. 2 Chronicles 20, 21 to 22. 2 Chronicles 20. So this morning, I, I, I want you to just make up your mind to give everything to God in the place of praise. 2 Chronicles 20. Let me just read. Uh, let me start from verse 1. And it came to pass after this also that the children of Moab and the children of Ammon, Ammon and uh, with them, and with them, other beside the Ammonites came against Jehoshaphat to battle. Verse 3. And Jehoshaphat feared and set himself to seek the law and proclaim a fast in all Judah. Actually, some situations can stare at us and bring about fear. We can actually, you know, uh, 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 when we praise God in a, in a bad situation, it's not a, in denial of the fact. It's not that we are actually denying that the problem is there. What we are trying to say is that God is bigger than that problem. It's okay if you are afraid. It's okay if you are still feeling that pain. But through it, still praise God. Now, let's go to verse 21. Verse 21. 2 Chronicles 20. 21. And when he had consulted with the people, he appointed singers unto the Lord, and that they should praise the beauty of holiness in the midst of wars confronting them, armies, enemies, you know, in battle array. He said, with the, he consulted with the people, appointed singers unto the Lord, and they should praise the beauty of holiness. And they went out before the army and to say, praise the Lord for his mercy endureth forever. And when they began to sing and to praise, the Lord set ambushment against the children of Hamnon, Moab, and Montseah, which were come against Judah, and they were smitten. When they praised God in the face of that battle, God took over that battle from them. So if you praise God in the midst of that confrontation, in the midst of that setup against you, against your home, against your family, when you take time to praise God inside that situation, inside that bad situation, God takes up that case. God takes up that issue and he comes in to turn that situation around. Let somebody shout hallelujah. hallelujah. I like this fourth one. When we praise God, we are beautified. Praise makes us look good 
in the presence of God. You know, when you praise God, it's like you are adorning yourself with a, with a, 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 a glorious garment before God. There's a song we used to sing that says, praise looks good on you. So when you praise God, when you worship God, you know, God, you become comely before God. Praise is like, you know, our praise is like our access code to entering into the presence of God. Psalm 100, verse 4 to 5. There are some parties in this Nigeria. There are some parties, there are some events that you cannot enter to if you are not well dressed. There, there are bouncers by the gate, by the door. They look at you and they see that you are not well dressed. They will bounce you. You can't enter. And there are some events that if you don't wear Ankara, you don't wear the Ashwabi that they chose, you cannot enter. Praise and worship is your Ashwabi. Praise and worship, thanksgiving is your Ankara. So if you don't, if you have refused to come with praise and worship, no semo for you. Praise God. Praise the Lord. Praise and worship. A heart of gratitude. You know, swelling from your heart in, in recognition of the great things that God has done. In acknowledgement of the awesomeness of God. You know, in recognition of the great things he's going to do. When you come into God's presence like that, you know, you are adorned. The Bible says in Psalm 33 verse 1 that praise is comely for the upright. So when you come with praise, when you come with worship like that, you know, you have come with Ashwabi, they, you, you will have access into God's presence. And we enter his courts with, I mean, let's, oh, let's read it, Psalm 100, 4 to 5. Psalm 100, 4 to 5. Enter his courts with praise. Psalm 100. Media, you can project it in front of me. Enter his gates with thanksgiving and into his courts with praise. Be thankful unto him and bless his holy name. Five. For the Lord is good. His mercy endures. His mercy is everlasting. And his truth endures to all generations. So when you come with praise and thanksgiving, even though you have a, a, a luggage, you have requests, you have issues that you want God to solve, but you put that one behind and you come with praise and worship, they will allow you to enter. And when you enter like that, you cannot go back with that problem. You cannot go home without heavy burden. You cannot go back depressed because God will take care of that issue. And as you worship and praise God today, God will take care of your concerns in Jesus' name. The fifth thing that happens when we praise God, when we worship God, is that our blessings are preserved. Our blessings are preserved. Malachi chapter 2, verse 2. Malachi 2, verse 2. When you worship God, when you praise him, your blessings are preserved. I read. And if you will not hear, and if you will not lay it to heart to give glory unto my name, saith the Lord of hosts, I will even send a curse upon you. God forbid. And I will curse your blessings. It shall not be my portion. Yea, I have cursed them already because you do not lay it to heart to give glory to God. So if you refuse to give glory to God over that issue, even though there are, there, even though there are things you still want God to do, but for what he has done already, give thanks. For what he has done, for, what, for the project, you know, in the, in, the, in the making, still give thanks. Because it, can, it could have been worse. So I tell you, it could have been worse. You know, it could have been so utterly, you know, bad. But for what you have right now, give thanks. Because if you refuse to give glory, this is the word of the Lord. The Lord, the Lord said, I will cause your blessings. Your blessings will not be caused in Jesus' name. So when we worship God, when we praise God, when we give thanks to him, our blessings are preserved. I'll, I'll, I'll stop with this. 
When we worship God on, 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 on something that is not enough, the, the sufficiency of God comes into it. When you give thanks to God over what is not enough, the sufficiency of God comes on him. We, we see the example of our Lord Jesus Christ. He had to feed over 5,000 people. In that account, in the book of John chapter 6, from 5 to 13, I will not be able to read it. John 6, 5 to 13. The Bible recorded that there, there were 5,000 men, not counting women, not counting children. And you can know that if you take a census of this church now, if there are 5,000 men in this place, then there will be 10,000 women. And there will be more than that for children. So, in this account, in a crusade, they had to feed over 10,000 people. And what they had was just five loaves of bread and two fishes. Jesus gave thanks over that which is not enough, over that which is not sufficient. How many of us, when things are not enough, when they are not sufficient, we grumble, we grudge, you know, we go about morose, downcast, depressed, repressed, but you can see the example of Jesus in this place. He didn't have enough to cater for the people that came for the crusade. But what he had, he gave thanks. And as he gave thanks over here, it, it became multiplied. So as you give thanks over that which is in your heart that is not enough, the power of multiplication will come unto it in Jesus' name. And lastly, praise brings life into a dead situation. Praise brings life into a dead situation. And we can read that account um, at the, when Jesus went to the tomb of Lazarus. John 11, 41 to 44. John 11, 41 to 44. What is it that is dead in your body? What is it that is dead in your walk? What is it that is dead in your home? What is it that is dead? When you give thanks over that deadness, God brings life into it. I'd like us to just rise on our feet. Let's rise on our feet this morning and let us make up our mind to give thanks to this God. He deserves our praise. He deserves our worship. He deserves all the honor. Look back at your life. Think in retrospect how the Lord has brought you. You know, the Lord has brought us over a long way. I, I I never knew he will honor me this way. I never knew he will answer me this way. I want you to just open up your mouth. Don't wait for the music. Don't wait for the, for the musician. Don't wait for the song. Open up your mouth and recount the blessings of God and appreciate him. Give him thanks. Give him thanks and let him come into that room. Give thanks to God. Worship him. Let him come into that room. Let him come into that situation as you give thanks to him. Give thanks to God and let him command his blessings upon you. Give thanks to God and let him turn that bad situation around. Let him take over that battle. Let him take over that confrontation. Praise waits for you, O oh God, in my life. Over my finance, over my son, over my daughter, in my marriage. Praise is waiting for you. You deserve all the praise. You deserve all the glory. Lord, you deserve all the honor. I worship you. I exalt your name. Oh, praise will preserve your blessing. Praise makes you look good. Praise beautifies you. Praise brings, you know, uh, abundance over that that is not sufficient. Go ahead and exalt him. Give him praise. Praise brings life to a dead situation. Lord, unto you be all the glory. We worship you. Mm -hmm. My beloved is the most beautiful among thousands and thousands. My beloved is the most beautiful. Amongst thousands 
and how my beloved is. Among thousands, oh, my beloved is. the word of God this morning, open your mouth and give God worship and praise. Think about all he has done. That's in response to the word you have heard. Do you expect all the dividends of praising God to manifest in your life? Then give it to him. Give it to him as a vow. He has kept you. Let me bring it down. Me. Just bring it softly. I want, to, I want you to uh, keep running it. I want to bring it in response to him. In response to him. As a vow that you have come to pay. Unto you shall the vow be performed. Make up your mind this, this afternoon or this morning that as I come before in this last Sunday in the month of September, I will do it like never before. As one that is here to pay a vow. So lift up your voice. Let your voice be heard in heaven. Talk about what he has done. Don't just think about what he has not done. Think about what he has done. Think about what could have happened and did not happen. That could have swept you off your feet. Thank you for your job. Thank you for that, your trade. 
Thank you for your career. Thank you for your husband. Thank you for your wife, for your children, for your parents, for your finances, for your provision, for being able to even appear before God in Zion this morning. It's a privilege, not a right. That you could wake up this morning and put on your clothes. It's a privilege. You could take your bath by yourself. You could stand on your feet. Giving glory. We celebrate you, Jesus. Glory be to your name. 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 Wave your hands to him. Make it a wave offering to him. Wave it. Wave it very well. Let it come from your heart. Let your heart be connected to that waving of the hands. Look at him right there in heaven and say, Lord, I wave my hands to you as an offering. Let it be acceptable. It must come from your heart. Wave it, wave it well, 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 wave it well as an offering unto him. Wave it well. Can you keep waving it? It's an offering. I pray the spirit as you are waving it. Something is already happening. Let it flow from your heart. I said, wave those hands, wave those hands. If you can lift that hand, then you can wave it to the Lord. Wave the hand to the Lord. I can see some people. You can't wear those hands. You can't wear those hands. Wear it to the Lord of Lords. Wear those hands. Wear those hands. Wear those hands. It's a privilege that you can lift it up. Let it flow for you. Don't be tired. Wave it above your head as an offering to him. Wave, 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 wave those hands to him. As you are waving those hands, sickness is departing from your body. As you are waving those hands, you are clearing the way for yourself in the month of October. Every blockage is being waved off. Our pressure is giving way. As you are waving those hands, doors are opening. Doors are opening. Doors are opening. Ikaka, Kaswa Tata, Rekepa, Patsa Katoa, Oskenendere Kara, Ochaka Tata Tara Takabo, Oreka Kapa, Sata Nikaba. Can you now begin to clap your hands? Bible says, for the Psalm of us one. Clap your hands, oh ye people. You are separate this prayer. Keep clapping your hands. Clap your hands, oh ye people. Shout out to the Lord with the voice of triumph. Seven, forty-seven, verse one. Clap, 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 with a voice of time. Are you tired? Clap your hands unto the one that preserved you, unto the one that served you, unto the one that kept you, unto the one that has not dealt with you according to the virtue of your sins. Give it go. 
Thank God for God's word that has come. You may have laughed when Pastor, Pastor Jide was um, making that funny analogy. But that is the truth. I hope you asked your neighbor, I hope you have your garment of praise on you this morning. <laughs> Hallelujah. <laughs> if it is not the one that is allowed, you will not eat them all. <laughs> Hallelujah. I can see some people. Some people are still be, we are still whining you, Abi. Are you still whining you? After that, what you have heard, we see whining you. Hallelujah. I want to praise God this, this morning like never before. Hallelujah. I don't, I don't care whatever you are passing through or what you are passed through. If you have never danced in the house of God, dance like David this morning. Hallelujah. Don't look at any other person. You have come to pay a vow. You have come to render and give God returns this morning. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. We are going to check our tithes after, after now. If you are waiting for me to call you out, you may not come today. But it's time to worship God and to dance and to give him praise. Let everyone single you out that from your heart you are giving thanks to him. Are you ready? Are you ready? Are you ready? Hey. Come, come on. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Are you ready to give God some praise this morning? Yes, sir. Hallelujah. Amen. Let's go. Thank you, Jesus.
baba. Ni bo to sore ele ti o mo. Bo bo shu ba fun o. Kare kare ba mi o. Just keep worshiping him. That was how David danced. There was no beats. When David was dancing, Abi, there was no beats. He was just dancing. Yes, no beats. But he was worshiping God. He was praising God. Without beats, you can use your hand. You can jump up. You can turn around, 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 around. You are worshiping your maker. You are worshiping your God. Even if there is no beat, Laia Tito was the keyboard. There was no drum set. They were worshiping God. And miracles were happening. Come and worship your God. Worship your God. Give him praise. Exhaust his name. Worship him. <laughs> Lift your hands and bless his holy name. I feel like shouting. Come and shout. Shout. Yes. I feel like Rababa. Oh, yeah, Rababa. 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 Oh, yeah, Rababa. Rababa. To the King of Glory. To the King of Kings. To the Lord of God. Ito, ito, 
When Paul and Silas were worshiping God, something happened. Their chains were broken. Because God Himself descended, God is there. And so we want to exalt the greatness of the Lord. Hallelujah! sure you are giving your best to God this morning. In dancing, in singing, in rejoicing, you are the only one that should say hallelujah. You are sure I have given my best. If you have not given your best, I'll give you another opportunity. But if you are sure I have given my best, shout hallelujah. <laughs> Everybody. Okay. All right. Praise the Lord. Please, let's return to our seat. We have very limited time. But under God's inspiration, I want to call you out to dance before your God. If you are sick in your body, you are sick in your body, you have, you have a, a dire need. That's, that's, a, that's a dire need. That's a challenge. In this month of September, you are battled with it. It's a big challenge. 
And um, you are believing God that by praise, you want to scale through it this morning. If you are there this morning, you are the one that will come before the Lord and dance. You are believing God for one, something specific. You have prayed about it. It's topmost on your prayer point. Maybe for more than two, three months. And you want to come before the altar of God this, this afternoon and dance. It's prophetic. You walk. It's a praise, praise dance or faith dance. Faith dance. Faith dance. You are dancing before him. There's power on this altar that as you dance before his altar this morning. I'm not calling for everybody. Something definite, specific. It's been topmost on your prayer point. But you want to say, Lord, I have prayed. Me too. I know that I have prayed about this case. But this morning, I want to, I want to solve this issue with, 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 with praise. Hallelujah. I praise this. You dance before him. Please focus on God. Please focus on God. Do it more than you did the, the, the other general one. This one, is, this one is not general. Praise the Lord. Shall we go? We just have five minutes. It is not play. Oh. We are not joking. Oh. We are not playing. Be Hallelujah. very serious minded with your God. Hallelujah. Covenant, 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 God.
Your yoke is broken. Your burden is lifted. Receive your healing. Receive your healing. Receive your healing. That sickness to go now. 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 In the name of Jesus. Every door that the enemy has shut against you. That has hindered that prayer to come forth. I command that door, that door, that door that I've been shut to break. 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 In the name of Jesus. Amen. Every pain that you have been believing for, believe God for, that has brought you out this morning, I declare it is addressed now. Amen. By the power of your mighty God, Amen. it is addressed now. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. It is written, the name of Jesus has been exalted above every other name. Therefore, I decree, I declare, every name that is raising his ugly head against the will of God in your life, I command that to bow. Amen. Bow. Amen. Bow. Amen. Bow. Amen. Bow. Amen. Now, in the name of Jesus. Amen. Everyone that is experiencing delay in childbearing, delay in marriage, and that is your heart cry this morning. I speak to your life. An end has come to your waiting. I say an end has come to your waiting. Because you have appeared before the throne of God this morning. Receive your children. Receive your spouses. In the name of Jesus, as we move into the month of October, we declare it our month that we will experience God's supernatural power. Amen. God's supernatural power. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Whatever brought you out this morning is turned to a testimony. A bigger amen. Amen. I say, whatever brought you to the front this morning, before this altar, is turned to a testimony. Sure, it's turned to testimony. We will struggle to, to, to take in more testi enough testimony next month. Amen. I say, it is turned to a testimony. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Glory to Jesus. Somebody say glory to Jesus. Say glory to Jesus. As we all appear before God this morning, we declare our October is blessed. Our October is blessed. The hand of God is made manifest. We shall see his hand at work like never before. No death. No affliction, no oppression. The shepherd of Israel will shepherd us. The bishop of our soul will oversee our lives. In the name of Jesus, our needs are met. Our bills are paid. In the name of Jesus, our debts are canceled. In the name of Jesus, pressure is turned to pleasure. In the name of Jesus, Everything will be easy for us in the month of October. The zeal of the house of the Lord will perform it. I said the zeal of the house of the Lord shall perform it. In the name of Jesus, so shall it be. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Glory to Jesus. Hallelujah.
the titles come forward. Let's have the titles. Please come forward. Abraham, blessings are mine. Abraham, blessings are mine. I am blessed in the morning. I am blessed in the evening. Abraham, blessings are mine. Father, we thank you for the privilege to labor and to make profit and to have provisions. And in, 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 in accordance with your word, these ones have brought their tithes into your storehouse. Lord, I pray that in the name of Jesus, that they are blessed. In the name of Jesus. The blessings of obedience is resting upon you. In the mighty name of Jesus. You have more than enough. Give us a rebuke over your sake. The windows of heaven are opened upon you. And you are declared blessed. More, you are, you, are, you are walking in the sufficiency of the grace of God this new month. Glory be to the name of the Lord. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. Amen. The Lord bless you. Please, can you step out to us, Pastor GD, and bless him for the word that he has brought to us this morning very powerful, profound word and I implore you to go back on YouTube and obey yourself the privilege of uh, taking that word in properly. Can you step out towards him and ask that the Lord will bless him? Lord, we thank you for your servant that you have used. Even in bringing your word to us today, we ask that you multiply your grace upon his life in the name of Jesus. Put your word more in his mouth like fire. Impacting God's people, strengthening his life, and making room for him in the name of Jesus. Glory be to your holy name. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. Please welcome with me, Pastor Shola, as he takes the announcement. Then I'll come back for the offering. Awesome service, isn't it? Hallelujah. God is good. Amen. Amen. All right, the first thing I would like to do is to welcome you if you are worshiping with us very, for the very first time this Sunday. Or you are there, you are worshiping with us for the first time after a very long time. If you are there, can you please wave your hands to me so I can see you? Thank you. God bless you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Sisters, you are welcome. Please, I need people to help me. There are so many of them next time. Brethren, you are welcome. Anybody like that in the middle of the auditorium? You are welcome to the fountain of you. We are so happy to see you. All right, at the end of this service, a group of people will be welcoming you. They will intimate you with the services that we are on and how you can benefit maximally from them. Once again, we say thank you for coming and God bless you. Amen. All right, our services this week will run in the following way. First of all, tomorrow morning, we are meeting 6 a.m. in the morning on Zoom. We'll pray 6 a.m. to 6.30 in the morning. And if you have not been joining us, we'd like to encourage you to join us. If you have the Zoom app, and if you don't know the link, you can see any of the hoshas or anybody close by. They're going to send the link to you. So join us tomorrow morning, 6 a.m. We will pray till 6.30 a.m. 
On Tuesday, we'll be coming for Bible study in this auditorium by 5.30 p.m. And on Wednesday, oh, pardon me. Thank you for reminding me. I wasn't looking at the paper. All right, what is happening on Tuesday? Joy to the nation. Glory to God. You remember that Tuesday is October 1. And October 1 in this assembly, there is a prophetic meeting. All right? Is it on the screen? Yeah, that's it. Joy to the nation. Amen. All right, like something else I need to say. October 1, we are starting our prayer and fasting that day. So, no eating for you. <laughs> but there's no problem. There's going to be refreshment in the evening. So, we're going to break our fast together. <laughs> and I know it's a public holiday. So let us come together. Let's worship God. Let's exalt him. We're worshiping God over this nation. It's a worship offering over Nigeria. All right. The time is 5 p.m. And it's a joint meeting. So people from the branches also will be coming. All right. That's October 1 on Tuesday. Okay. Now, because of the prayer and fasting, it means the Zoom meetings will run, you know, from Monday to Wednesday. So we're going to be having Zoom meeting in the morning on Tuesday. We're going to have Zoom meeting on Wednesday and on Thursday. All right, so prayer and fasting will run from Tuesday to Wednesday. Please let me tell your neighbor, in case your neighbor doesn't like to fast. <laughs> Say, prayer and fasting. Three-day prayer and fasting. Start on Tuesday. All right, so we are fasting on Tuesday. We are fasting on Wednesday. We are fasting on Thursday. We'll be running up on Thursday with the communion service in this assembly by 5.30 p.m. Amen. All right, the next, the next announcement I would like to take is for the men's fellowship. All right, this year, October 19 is a Saturday. We're going to be having Men's Summit 2024. You see, the men are coming up. Hallelujah. No, we've, not, we've not had our summit for a while, and this year we're going to be having it. Ministering is Pastor Shola Mene from the Petra ministry. He's a very powerful teacher of the word. Very, I've listened to him in UMF meetings. Very powerful teacher. We'll be here October 19, 5, I'm sorry, 4 p.m. in the evening. The meeting will start. All right. It will continue on Sunday. It will also be ministering on Sunday. Um, That's October 20. So let, please, I'd like you to invite all the men. Women, please, if you are married, tell your husband, Push him out of the house on, 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 on Saturday. All right. If he doesn't want to go, push him. You can ask the children to join you and push. Say, Daddy, there's a meeting in church. All right. The theme of that meeting is unstoppable. Men, can we say unstoppable? We are unstoppable. Amen. All right. We are talking about courageous living in times like this. I hope you know that it's in the times of famine. That the men of covenant shine. I hope you know. All right. So we will be putting into our hearts the seeds of faith that will cause us to have hundredfold return. That's the focus of that meeting. Say with me. Say we are unstoppable. Our wives and our children will bless us. Amen. They will say, "Blessed are you among men." It's not only for women; also among men, you are blessed, and that will be our portion in Jesus' name. All right, in preparation for the Mother's Daughter Convention, women are to meet immediately after service behind the minister's seat. So all women, in case you're not sure you're a woman, let somebody beside you tell you, you can ask, just in case. All right, am I a woman? Me, I know I'm not a woman. So if you are a woman, you're supposed to be here. All right, we'll receive appreciation letter from Mr. and Mrs. Iola Samuel and Olukemi. They want to, you know, they're appreciating us. Sister Kemi has already shared the testimony. They are appreciating the church, our father and mother in the Lord, Reverend and Pastor Mrs. Adibara, the resident pastor, Pastor Tope Yudini, and every one of us for the, our prayers, our financial support during the fire outbreak in the house on the 24th of August, 2024. They are saying thank you and God bless you all. The dr drama team will be meeting after service. If you have been married, as a couple between, and your marriage is between zero and five years old, all right. If you are a couple like that, you are to wait after service for a brief meeting with the escorts of that group. There are accountability groups 
the setup for prayers and Bible study. All right. If you like to join any of those groups, they will help you. They will fire you up to pray and to read your Bible. If you like to join, you can see any of the pastors. All members of the social media team should wait behind at the church gallery. This is the gallery hop here, the first one. There's a second one hopper, the first one here. Please, um, social media team, wait there. Also, on the 1st of October, before we meet in the evening, at 12 p.m., we're having an outreach. All right, it's a time to share the word. The flyer is here. We call it reach. So we want to reach out to people. So on the 1st of October, the time is 12 p.m. Thank you. Please let me to welcome the resident pastor. The Lord. Praise the Lord. Please, as I'm making this emphasized announcement, please begin to package your offering so that we can save time. Uh, I want to emphasize that three-day prayer and fasting. The first day is for Nigeria. And it's going to be a worship session. If you have never experienced it before, please make it to church. Five o'clock, and it's just a two-hour program, five o'clock to seven on Tuesday. Please, let's come. If there's a time that Nigeria needs prayer, it is now. If you are complaining then you should pray. Don't just complain about the government. Please come and pray. That's a weapon that we, that we have. This government is not listening to you, but as a God that can listen and influence them. Am I right? Am I right? So please, let's do that. Then the, the remaining two days will also be dedicated to majorly praying for Nigeria. That does not mean you should not come. Listen. And the scripture, the key scripture we are using is Psalm 122 from verse 6 to verse 9. We are not just praying for Nigeria generally. We are praying for you to have your own, even in this hard time in Nigeria. Do you get it? We are praying for Nigeria generally, but we are focusing on you. Having your way, even in this time. At this time in Nigeria. Do you understand it? Hallelujah. And it is tied to you. Praying for Nigeria. And if you. Let, let's have that scripture on the screen please. I want to encourage you. So that you will. Make up your mind to come. Media. I don't know where they are not putting it in. Alright, so pray for the peace of Jerusalem. So pray for the peace of Nigeria. They shall do what? They shall prosper that love thee. They shall prosper. And this is our Jerusalem. Praise the Lord. And as you pray, then you will also do what? Prosper. Next, next verse. Next verse. Peace be within thy words and prosperity within the palaces. The last one. Eight. For my brethren and companions sake, I will now say, peace be within thee. For my brethren eh? and my companions sake, we will come and say, peace be within thee. That's a peace you enjoy when you pray for your nation. Hallelujah. Please, let's come. Let's come this next um, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday to come and pray. And as you pray, you are going to pray for yourself more than praying for Nigeria for on Wednesday and on Thursday. But I believe God, it does not matter how hard it is in Nigeria, you will have your own and you will break through and you will break forth and God will make room for you in the name of Jesus. Secondly, uh, with gratitude to God, we announced the home call of Grandma Olaofe yesterday. It's, it's a gallant exit for her at the age of 85. Praise the Lord. And it was a very fulfilling uh, uh, life that he lived. 
she was taken to the hospital on, on, on Friday, Friday, and um, all those who were, who were just saying good night to everyone. Good night to everyone. So she was ready. She knew she was going. And that was a glorious exit for her. Uh, uh, I think it was July. We celebrated her 85th birthday. So it was a gallant um, exit for her. And we celebrate that life that was on her. Very impactful, influential life that she lived. Praise you, the Lord. Hallelujah. So after the service, please, let's uh, find um, uh, a means of um, just visiting the family to commiserate with them or to celebrate with them better that way. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Somebody shout hallelujah. Yeah, we are celebrating our, our exit. We are not mourning our exit at all. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. She has gone at the evening time. Am I right? 85 is a good, is a good time to live. Praise you the Lord. Um, then uh, if you are a widow in the church, please I would like you to register your name. Especially if you are new in church. Those that have been in church for, some, for a while, we already know. But if you are a widow in church, especially if you are new, please register your name at the information desk after this service. Subsidized food stops also will be available during the prayer and fasting. Tuesday, eh? <laughs> Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Praise the Lord. You know, last week it was free for the needy. This one is subsidized. And this was uh, um, uh, sponsored by a family in church. So rice will go for 1,500 per Congo. Beans will go for 3,000 Naira per Congo. Gari will go for 600 Naira. And one liter, one liter of vegetable oil will go for 1,500. So please, let's um, take advantage of this as we benefit from it. And we pray that the Lord will bless that family. They will never know it better yesterday. As they are taking care of the needy, God will take care of them. In the name of Jesus. Praise you the Lord. Alright, please can you stand to your feet? Bring out your offering. Let's bring out our offering. Please help me with my envelope. Lift it up to God. Father, in the name of Jesus, we bring our offering even to your house this morning. We are not coming empty-handed. And as we put this on the soil, we declare it will bring forth great harvest unto us. This week and this next month, in the name of Jesus, I declare you are blessed and perpetually blessed indeed, in the name of Jesus. Thank you, mighty Father.
schedule please just just bear with us just bear with us sorry so we should be getting ready to to go now praise the lord hallelujah please can you rise to your feet all all women please move to this side all the youth move to the extension all women that are there please let's move to the extension uh, to the back of the minister's seat. Let's do that quickly. Quickly, quickly. Pastor Shola has asked, though, ask somebody beside you, are you a woman? I can see six young women sitting down here. Women, move from there and move here. Please help me tap them, whether they don't know that they, are, they can't remember that they are women. Are you not hearing from the extension? Women, ushers, please help me now. Extension, don't you want me to come down to pick you to go come? Ushers. I can see, see some women sitting down. Some women are still on this side. I did not say talk, I said move. Youth, move to the extension.
youth, if you are a youth, go to this place. All youths move here. The remainder of the women will stay here. Please hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. It should not take us five minutes to, to move. Please, can you rise to your feet? Father, thank you for this service. We appreciate you for the way you have visited us. Let all glory and honor be unto you in the name of Jesus. We go in the strength of this meeting. We go this month, at this new month of October to prevail. We go, oh God, to prevail and to make it in the name of Jesus. Lord, you will answer for us. Your grace will be sufficient for us. Your mercy will undertake for us. And your name shall be glorified. Glory and honor be unto your name. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayer. Our confession. Now, unto the King, eternal, immortal, invincible, the only wise God, be honor and glory forever and ever. Amen. And the Lord shall deliver me from every evil work and preserve me unto his heavenly kingdom to whom be the glory forever and ever. Amen. Surely, goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life and I shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now and forevermore. Amen. Our God reigns. Our God reigns. Our God reigns. The Lord bless you. See you on Tuesday. <laughs>